Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. All right, so a couple months ago, I made a video called five totally awesome Webflow sites that you could use for design inspiration. Today, I wanna to give you five more totally awesome Webflow sites that you can use for design inspiration. That was a mouthful, let's get right into it. All right, so I've spent the last few hours scouring the web looking for really, really cool Webflow sites that can help inspire your designs. All right, so let's hop into the first site here and I really wanted to grab your attention with this first one. What I really, really love about this site and what really caught my eye when I first saw it was if I hover my mouse and move it around this page, you see this really cool like 1970s retro rainbow layered font move with the mouse in this cool groovy little way. It looks a little Austin Powers-y, which I love, but just look at that. That's really cool. Now, you know, even if you don't have a 1970s retro site like this, you could do some sort of cool effect like this using some sort of, you know, mouse hover animation, something like that. So just look how cool that is. You got this cute little moon here. It looks like a Teletubbies moon. And it's just a really cool design. It's a really cool vibe. I love the colors and I love how this site all works together in this cool little story. So we've got this cool button here called get your tickets and it just really pops out at you. We've got a little video here that pops up that will play what the, I think it's a, I think it's a music festival is about. And as we go, we just have these really cool graphics leading us all the way down the page. I love how this pipe kind of walks us down the page and it's just kind of telling this natural story down the page, which I really like. And it's all within that kind of retro vibe, which is also really cool. One other thing I wanted to show you on this site is this team member section right here, which it looks like you're kind of in a laboratory on a conveyor belt. But when you hover, you get like these little bottles, these little cans, whatever you want to call them, these flasks, these graduated cylinders for you science people out there that move on hover. And these are the little things that we talked about in that last video where it's the tiny things that really set your site apart. If you can add these slight little animations and things like this, your website goes from just another run of the mill website to something like this Creative South website, which really is awesome to look at. So that's site number one. Now site number two is a really cool site. And I wanted to show you this one because I just love the font and I love the colors. It's just super, super soft on the eyes. This site draws me in for some reason. I don't know if you guys will like it as much as me, but right off the bat, you can see you've got just this really bold, but kind of amateur childish font, but it works within the brand, which is really cool. We have this little hovering animation over here. It looks like some hands are grabbing like this little creature. And we have these clouds moving in the background. These subtle movements, these little animations bring your site to life and bring your visitors in. They suck them in and they keep them there. They make you want to scroll. I mean, it can't just be me that sees this and wants to see what the rest of this story is. So let's scroll down and see what we have here. So we have this really cool font um, within their brand. And you know, this font doesn't work on every site uh, uh, for every brand, but for this one, it works. We've got things moving, little animations. We've got a little team down here. And what I really want to talk about here is just the creativity, the design, how it all plays together. These little things, there's no animations here. There's nothing subtle going on. It's just beautiful. So I think the lesson on this site is if you can work in different pieces of art, things like this, things like these clouds or like this little guy reading a book down here, art pieces, unique visuals can really stand out and bring your visitor in and suck them in and keep them on the page. So find an artist you want to work with or if you are able to design things like this, design really cool and creative things like this and integrate them into your site just like MEMS did on theirs. So that's why I love this site here. All right, so let's go to our third site now. And this is a site called Hidden Heroes. Now, I like a couple things about this site. Firstly, I love this menu. Look at this menu. Maybe you could do something like this on your site. But it's just, it's it's unlike any menu I've seen. It's, you scroll down on a full page view. It highlights, you get a little picture pop up as you highlight, the font changes, the font is beautiful. And I love this little like light purple and dark purple gradient that you get kind of in the background there. But again, you get this story down the page in your menu. So I thought that was cool. I wanted to show you guys that. But as we scroll down the main page here, we see we have this huge font, which I'm normally a fan of. And it you know, goes left and right as I scroll. This little emblem disappears. So the site is breathing. It is alive. And then we get all these cool little tiles. Now, what did I just say about art on the second, on the second website I showed you? Art 
cool pieces like this kind of draw you in. Now, not all websites that you're building are gonna have cool art pieces like this, but maybe it's something to strive for. I know I like it when I see it. It just kind of sucks me in. So we can see we're kind of telling a story here down the page. Now let's click on one of these and we can see that when we hover, we get like this animation here where we get a little summary text box that pops up, which I like. We also get like this little black shadow that drops on the background of it. So I really like that. I really like that a lot. It makes it kind of look like a comic book a little bit. So something cool to keep in mind, but let's click on one of these. And now we come in and it looks almost like a newspaper, but you can see that when we scroll, we get like this really nice animation and watch this font here, watch his name. As we scroll, this font almost expands. So I think you guys can tell now that I kind of like these like 3D fonts or like these like box shadow type things that animate when you scroll. I don't know, I think it just, I think it's a subtle way to bring your, your site to life. And so as we scroll here, we can see we just get a really cool story. It's neat, it's clean, it's clutter free. Things are moving, things are alive, things are colorful. And so we're really getting this cool story wrapped up in the bow of a cool brand. Um, and I think that is really the goal of every good website. Tell your story in the box of your brand identity. So that is the third site. Now let's move on to the fourth site. This is one of my favorite ones I'm gonna show you today. This one's really, really cool. So again, following that theme of telling a story within your brand, this one might be the best example of all. This is some guy who is, this is a portfolio. So this is a portfolio website for this guy named Corey. And he's essentially telling his story, his work story within the brand of like this comic book character, this like kind of Superman, superhero character. So as we scroll down here, we can see we got like a little city background that scrolls. Um, we have a fixed background back here. We kind of scroll over the top of it. We've got a really cool little rotating button here that says power up. So that's really cool. And then as we go down, we kind of see we have this comic strip brand, this, this cool style that I haven't seen on any other website. Now, when I hover, we get like a second animation that also tells a story. So we're using animations to tell a story also within the brand, which is really, really cool. Again, we have consistency here on our hovers, which I like. I love the colors here. I love this blue and yellow. The font is also cool. I guess I'm liking kind of more like this childish font lately. I don't know. Um, but I like it. All right, so as I scroll down here, we get to my favorite section of this website, and this is such a creative and cool way to display your work on your portfolio page. So this is what I really wanted to show you guys because you might be able to copy this and use something similar to this on your websites. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So as I scroll here, you can see we have almost like a newspaper issue out here to the right. And as I scroll, you can see that he's included his work examples as a part of this newspaper issue which I think is really cool. And if I click this, it brings me to his actual examples of the websites he's built. But now as I continue scrolling, I get a second issue with even more work examples, which I just think is really, really fun and cool and, and just a nice way to present this work in a not boring way. And you can see, I can just continue to scroll a third issue and a fourth and a fifth. And so here's all of his work examples presented in one section in a clean, fun and creative way. And then as I scroll, you know, it continues on with the comic book style. But I just really, really, really love this part and I wanted to show you guys because if you could do something similar to like that, I think you could really attract a lot of new clients. So, something to keep in mind. Now, let's move on to the fifth website and this is the cherry on top. This is the site that I save for the end because this site is crazy. I won't lie to you, I don't know how exactly they built this site in Webflow. It must have been some sort of custom code but this site is pretty crazy. So essentially what this website is, someone built this because they had a, a 2022 retreat, but it was a secret location. People that had signed up for the retreat, they didn't know where the retreat was going to be. So they built this site as kind of like a little scavenger hunt to reveal where the retreat was gonna be. So let me just show you this site, guys. I have no idea, again, how this was made, but this is just so, so cool. So you load into the page and you're just, you can't scroll, you're just kind of fixed here. And you hit start adventure, and all of a sudden you're like dragging in your team that you're loading up into that little van. So look, I'll just drag in some fake characters here. I've loaded up a bar. Don't know how this is built. I hit confirm team. Then I bring some items along for the ride. And I hit confirm. 
And now I load in and it's like a quiz. It's like, which way are we headed? Now, I don't know. I, I've loaded up my bus to figure out where this retreat is gonna be. I brought all my friends and some items. I don't know which way we're gonna go. So I don't know, is it south? And it looks like, it, okay, the retreat location is not south. Now I've gone through this, so I know where we're going, but we're going west somewhere. So I click west and then I scroll and the bus starts driving. <laughs> And the background moves and I've got a speedometer down here that if I go too fast, I, I get pulled over by the cops. I've got little like comments popping up here. Isn't this sick guys? Isn't this cool? There's like a little music playing. I don't know if you can hear that. There's a little music playing. And I just drive. And at some point I get to like, I think Shreveport, no Lafayette. And it like asked me, oh, I'm going over a river, which way do I go? And the music's jiving. And I go, I don't know, I'll cross the bridge. And it's like, oh, I, I made the wrong choice. I just lost someone on my team. And so this just goes on and on and on. Now again, guys, I have no idea how they built this, but here's the really good news. This is a copyable template that Webflow has in their template library. I will include the link down in the description below. I believe it's free. If it's not free, you know, I'm sorry, but I believe it's free. So you can copy this into your own Webflow account and use it if you, for some reason, have a similar uh, goal as these guys did. But you can use this. You can use this on your own site. So I'll include that down below. But, you know, just a really, really cool site. It was so fun. I had to include it, even though I, you know, I don't really know what you could use it for or how it was made. I had to throw it in there for you guys because it's so sweet. So anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope somewhere in these five websites, you can find some design inspiration for the projects that you're building out. If you do find value somewhere on these five sites, get down in the comments and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Love to get your thoughts on these cool sites and the things that you're building. Uh, if you like this video, go down and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. That'd be awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. We're growing fast now, and it's good to have you all along for the ride. So thanks again, guys, for being here, and I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.